This tutorial explains about uploading and downloading data in WebDyne Pro. The output shows two tables in which the first table has the data in it. Click on the download button and an Excel file containing the data which is in the table would be downloaded. Now open the Excel file and you can find the data. Append few more rows in the file and save it. Now in the application browse the file and click on the upload button. Now the data in file will be uploaded to the table and you can find the rows added to the Excel file. So first create a component in transaction SEAD. In the context of the main view create the node with cardinality 0 to n. Add two attributes under the node. Now create another node with cardinality 0 to n and add the same attributes as in the first node. Create an attribute directly under the context with the type as x string. This attribute would be used to upload data from Excel. In the layout insert a table UI element. In the create binding wizard of table click on context button and bind the node with name download. Now insert a button UI element and give its text as download. Create an event handler for the own action event of button. Insert another table and using the create binding wizard, bind it to the node with name upload. Now insert an element file upload and bind its data property with the attribute which is of type X string. Create another button element and give its text property as upload. Create an event handler for on action event of button. In the doInit method of the view, use the code wizard and read the context node download. Comment this part of code as it would throw an error because there would be no elements available. Insert a code to select data from database and bind it to the node. In the event handler for download button, use the code wizard and read the download node. Write code to get the data in the node using get static attributes table method. Append all the data available in this table into a string using this code. Now convert this string into an X string value. And using the method attach a file to response of the runtime services class, write code to download the data. In the event handler method for upload button, use code wizard and read the attribute which is of type X string and which was bound to file upload UI element. Also read the node with name upload. Convert this X string into a string using the function module. Write code to split this string value at tab spaces and new lines. And append all the values into an internal table. Now bind this table to the upload node which will be displayed in the second table. Create a web time pro application and save it. Test the application. The output shows two tables with first table filled with data. Click on the download button which downloads the data in an Excel sheet. Save this Excel sheet and append few more records. Now click on the browse button and select the Excel file from local drive and then click on the upload button. Now the data in the Excel will be displayed in second table.